This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. It's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I said Twitter again, didn't I? Press the button. We have, <laughs> we, <laughs> I have so many buttons. I have so many. You mean the, oh no. Awesome cast. Oh no, button. my sounds aren't loaded. Oh, Where'd sorry. my sounds go? Oh, no. oh, well. They didn't load at all. See, it was my fault. I should have. Oh, Did no. we give Sorg a soundboard? Everything. I, I actually I have the soundboard. I just have like random sounds on here now uh, that aren't even, aren't, aren't even, there we go. Yay. Oh, there you go. There's something. There's I don't something. know. There's There's random stuff. <laughs> Sure. Ooh, uh, that was a good one. I don't I don't know what's going on. That Anyways, <laughs> with us in studio back once again, Kid Mental is with us. I don't, I don't know why this audio is still going. <laughs> I'm gonna mute that. <laughs> it just keeps going. Aww. I'm next time I will I will be prepared to have your sounds ready. Uh, I, I, I didn't look it's been here every week. I don't know why I didn't load this yeah, week. I don't so. know either. But I, I would I, I said I would do that for me. you. We'll get it. We'll get it going. We'll get it going. Dave Potter's in the chat room hanging out. What's up? Anybody else out there? Say what's up as well. Uh, but also with us remotely is the Riz. This it's kind of weird. That six six six. Yeah, of, yeah, yeah. I noticed that when I, I plugged love in the number. It. You don't like, like it? It's right there. It's, uh, it's right there. It's like, oh, hey, huh? We're here. Huh? We made this it. This is when the bill comes out to that. I usually buy something else. Uh, so I don't yeah. have that opportunity here. Uh, so there is good to have you back. I know you had a, a, a to tough, be here. a tough weekend, if you will. A couple, a couple weeks, I couple guess. Is a tough good weeks point. here, but you're with us and I'm glad we can I'm catch here. up here because we were supposed to hang out like all weekend and didn't get a chance to. And I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad, uh, I, I, I'm going to get into it. I'm glad I didn't see, see you on Thursday evening, even though I really wanted to, mm -hmm. uh, but I'll get into that in a little oh, bit. Oh, I think I know why. Anyways, this is the awesome cast. We like to talk some geeky things and we like to get into our awesome things of the week. But before we do our own awesome things of the week, she is not here. Katie is uh, working her uh, jobby job at the, uh, at the, at the arena with the penguins, but she kind of has a little bit of an awesomeness that happened this weekend. She uh, uh, made a, 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 a an appearance at uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling up in the Worthington, PA. Uh, she is the 2PW Kicking Cancer's Ass Champion uh, after uh, her bout with breast cancer. So she got to show up with that. There's actually, we, it was a benefit show uh, for uh, uh, Scarlett Jones, who's uh, uh, going through uh, leukemia right now, childhood leukemia. Uh, so it was a bit of benefit. This show actually ended up raising over $1,400. And we, we're still putting the shows out for free. It's 2PW's Wreck the Halls. Uh, you can check it on the indie wrestling .us, um, uh, YouTube pages and there's a QR code for you to, if you want to put donations in from there. But of course she was, she got to open the show and she tripped on the ropes. I forgot to edit that part out. Uh, <laughs> no, she don't, ended, don't up, lie. She don't, ended don't up in lie, an sword. ordeal with a wrestler named the gavel, David lawless, who, uh, who, uh, you know, basically said that, uh, you know, uh, he should be thanked for her, uh, cancer belt. Uh, for some reason, it was a really interesting uh, lawyer leap of logic, and you'll see if you're on video here. And of course, you can go to interesting.us YouTube page, and you'll see uh, the Dutters video as well. I think we shared it as well in the uh, YouTube group. So I just wanted to share this here at the top of the show, and a nice smack. And oh, oh no, oh Ooh. no, and they're holding them back. They're holding them back. They're holding them back, and uh, something's going to happen here. And here comes the. Oh, they really milk this for a minute, don't they? Yeah, they <laughs> so, and the duck the clothesline Whoop. and dutters with the big boot yeah. there it is wow. there it is there it is or is you didn't see this yet i didn't see that part <laughs> i, I so kind of thought it was just a slap but no yeah that is the dutters big boot how yeah. about that so go check that out as part of that and, and of course uh support a great cause there it was a really great it was a really fun show on Friday night. We had we had a series of wrestling shows, but that was the most special because of uh, how much they did for that kid uh, to try to help out. And I really appreciated that. So I thought we'd throw that out there uh, and uh, you know give give Dutters a shout for uh, for her her big. Um, you know they say that she's just not defending the title, but I think that's a pretty good defense right there. So 
uh, go check that out over there. So let's get into I mean, our... It, it is technically 30 days. You, you, you have 30 days. You have 30 days title. to defend. Yes. I think it goes a little looser on, on indie wrestling. When a promotion yeah. only has shows every other month, it gets a little harder. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. That's true. Um, you could say she's defending it every day. So anyways, let's that's get true. into our awesome things of the week as well. Uh, gee, let's, Riz, you're the one that's had, a, had, a, had an interesting rough weekend. Let's let you go first. Sure. So like, like I said, um, Thursday, I was supposed to help out, uh, meet Sorg and do things with Sorg. Yeah, uh, but a little of hand course, with my, the wrestling, you know, my, my, my immune system decided to not be out uh, to, to, be, to have me out that day. So I did what every other individual does when they're sick. Yes. I stayed up late, stayed in my room. Watched an award show about video games. What? The video <laughs> That's game a thing awards. That happens? Yes. The the video game awards had Timothy Chalamet, as you can see in this video here. Okay. Uh, Wa- Willy Wonka came out. Did the video that they, he actually announced the winner of the game of the year, which is a uh, very sore subject for some people. I know. I know some people thought you know, Spider Man Two mm-hmm. was going to win it. Uh, but Baldur's Gate three is a v- much better video game. Oh, just Ooh. putting it out there. Right. I will, I will, I will go to bat for Baldur's Gate three. Just putting <laughs> it out there. Just putting it out there. I, I have at least three characters now. All three characters I decided to make, and all three characters I have yet to finish the first act because there is so much stuff to do, and I really want to do it with. So many different characters. <laughs> so, so, so you're pretty deep in this game. <laughs> pretty deep. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's, it's, I was actually deep in it. Like, I want to say maybe two, three years ago, whenever the early access came out mm-hmm. of this on an, an, on my PC gaming, I think it was one of my first games I bought on the PC, like on this, on this laptop that I'm using right now. But it's it's a really good game, and I do uh, recommend it for anybody that that is into video games. I know it just came out on console. Uh, like I like I mentioned, the character creation is intense. Uh, uh obviously for a uh, Dungeons and Dragons like game with uh D twenty rolls and everything, mm-hmm. um. But yeah, besides that, besides the game of the year, they kind of they kind of swept. I think they only lost one um one award that they were nominated for. And that was that went to Alan Wake 2, which I have no idea what that game's about, but it looks <laughs> Oh, I played some Alan Wake. I, I played the uh, American okay. Nightmare one and it's it's um and, and, and I think that's more of the actiony one, but it's it's very um, it's a remedy game, I think, isn't it? it, it like uh, the, sure. like Max Payne and, and and control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was yeah because Max Payne was one of the presenters there. It was or he he won the he yeah he's in there. I think Max Payne's uh, not in the Max, game, not actual Max Payne, but the actor who the played actor Max who Payne. plays Max Payne. Yeah. I thought maybe they did the the, the little three D hologram that Wait, like, mm-hmm. like yeah, Mark I mean. Wahlberg. <laughs> that no, actor? no, not the actor, not not like the movie. No, the Max the Payne. voice, the voice of Max, the, the voice, <laughs> the voice of Max Payne. Yeah, I love Max Payne. Like, Hold on, Wa- wait, trilogy. wait, Wal- Wahlberg was was the movie version. Yeah, wasn't that who it was? Yeah, you, Wahlberg was the movie saying? version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. You, you never seen this? I did. I no, nah, because uh, I mean, yeah. Listen, I mean, if you just want something that resembles a video game, um, it was. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg was all about <laughs> was all up in this. Wow, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know that. Isn't isn't that a first person? No, it's a it's like a no, third person kind of thing. Third person. Yeah, yeah. So it is is a Max Payne is a yeah. third person. Yep, yep. It's kind yeah. of a behind so, the shoulder kind oh, of. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a yeah. It, it's kind of a fun. It was it's that like Sin City kind of. Is that uh, ludicrous? Era. <laughs> Yeah, I think it might have been. Oh my know. god! I'm seeing Chris. everybody wow. but Max this... Payne in this thing. So I don't understand this movie already. <laughs> like, what? have you played the game? No, I never played no, it. I mean, I've, I've played, three. but it's a shooter, right? 
Yeah, it's kind yeah. of a shoot 'em up. Yeah, it, it was one of those games. It was one of the first games that did like introduce like the Matrix bullet time into it. Uh, that, was, that was the big selling point of it. Okay. Right? And they did three of them. Uh, two on the like the PlayStation Two era, and then, then another one on like the PlayStation Three Sixty area yeah. era. So you know, it was um, it, it, it's a very moody, you know, kind of that, uh, I, uh, fun. Uh, gritty noir mm. kind of kind of game, right? But it's a shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a shooter. I don't, yeah, I don't. Like I don't tan- it. It's it's a it's a revenge film shooter. You know what I mean? Like like your entire uh-huh. family got killed and you're out to get them. Like hard boiled detective. Oh yeah, and it's like this, oh, this graphic. The, the, it's like this graphic novel <laughs> presentation for all the uh, cut scenes, and it's it is, and they're supposed to be remastering them actually. Highly, don't. highly like recommended. A... <laughs> I played all three it's a, of it's them. It's a shooter. I'm they're just amazing. They're a, they're they're right. so they were so much fun in the era, era and really kind of pushed some um some action forward. Uh, three gets fun because they actually go down to like I don't know what some some brighter <laughs> country uh than New York City <laughs> at night, which is all, everything. Mm. Um, so no, it was I like it. Mm. Uh, it it's it's it is one of my favorite ones. So. Um, I hope yeah. we do do more with that series. But anyways, so what Alan Wake is kind of a, I think Alan, you're, you're yeah. an author, and what you write turns into you're trying to be a writer and 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 or write your next book, and like what you write turns turns real or something, and you kind of get sucked into this kind of like you know kind of like Evil Dead and Necronomicon, uh, right. but you're but you're writing it. So that that's there 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 was a moment in the game that they mm-hmm. brought back into uh, reality where. Uh, they turned it into a musical of some sort. I did not see And there that. was Alan Wake to the musical uh-huh. that they performed at the video game awards. Oh, no. So, yeah. yeah. So, and, so I don't it, know where, where American weird. Nightmare fits in because it's just you kind of like drop mm. into it and and you're like in this nightmare world and in the desert when you have like a flashlight to like like fight off all the demons. Mm. Right. So Interesting. It's, 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 it's been really it's it's been an interesting play a little bit I've, I've done with it. So. Uh, it's one that's kind of on my get to it list. So. Alan Wake. Mm-hmm. Yep, Alan Wake. Alan Wake. Mm-hmm. So uh, um, there's at least two games out before the sequel that's coming out. So mm-hmm. like I don't know how that all works. Anyways, yeah, there's also there was also of course um, a lot of reveals, world premieres that came that mm-hmm. came from that from this show. Um, I think one of them, Sorg, you're going to talk about a little bit later, um, but one that was one of the bigger shocks of the night was uh well f- there was actually two really big ones one was marvel and bethesda coming out with blade Whoa. the video game yes uh oh i want wesley snipes that's all i'm saying <laughs> i mean we all want wesley snipes Let's does it look like like that. i mean how's the gameplay look like is that uh, there's no the, it, 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 there, it's there all is, cinematic no it's all cinematic but it feels like it's it, from the people that did death loop so i feel like it's going to be kind of those open world you have to go hunt vampires yeah kind of things. like he, yeah. basically he's in a barber shop he's getting a shave i was thinking devil may cry ish type uh that man, might it could that, be I it very well could like be that. it could be so, because um, it, yeah I can see it. It'd be nice if it was, because it's because the combos and mm-hmm. yo. Mm-hmm. I can see them doing something. I have like never that, got yeah. to play Devil May Cry, but I've seen like oh, certain ones. Something. I'm like, it's yo, fun. this looks. It's like, a blast. Yo, it, it is fun. a blast. And fun fact, it started. It was supposed to be a Resident Evil game. Oh, was it? Yeah, <laughs> it was supposed <laughs> well, to be. I Re- could see that. It was something like it was supposed to be Resident Evil on a on a boat, and it ended up turning into Devil May Cry as we know it. Yeah. So, yeah, wow. it's weird how those things work out. Anyway, Resident Evil and Cry. Hey. Yeah, yeah, that's what basically. it is. Like, pretty much. Uh, and then uh, there was another instance where uh, Hideo Kojima came out. Oh, jeez, I heard about this. Uh, and then um, they announced a game or some sort of visual concept video game that you can play on a video on a console, but not really a video game. It's a kind of a movie. <laughs> And then they brought out uh, a direct. I, I have no idea. <laughs> Kojima does weird shit. So, excuse my language, but he does some weird stuff. Let's just say that. I thought we were allowed um, to say that. PG thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. yeah. Just, just, just we have. We all have one. Well, you're only allowed one. Yeah, I'm only allowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're, I, you're, you're, I've said. You're I get to say one. I've said weird stuff. You're a lot. Is this? A, is it the thing with this? With the face that's going on it's, here? Yeah. Yeah, it's the thing with the face. Mm-hmm. Silent um, Hills. It's like, yeah, 
they they do like all these it's it's the same line over and over again it's kind of cgi kind of face faces going back and forth like that guy um but the big thing is kojima is working with jordan peele on this (laughs) so i want more of a Jordan Peele aspect to this video video game. The game's yes. called OD. OD, yeah. And I'm still not sure what it is because Kojima is weird. Listen, can you tell me what Death Stranding was if you haven't played it? No. It, yeah. Um, oh, you sure. Know, you know sure, what it is? Sure. You know what turns out that it it's is? A, it's a creepy... Carry, carry a baby all around. Back, no, you just have a backpack and you're building something. Somebody explained to me like all the long concept of it. I went to go watch a review because it popped up on... One of the one of my uh, kind of game collection things I can play, mm-hmm. and and it was like, oh, you're just like you're a courier with the worst game game me- mechanic ever to balance this package while you're delivering it to places and build something while creepy things are attacking you, and you don't even know what you're building, and, yeah, and you don't even know you're no. building until like the end of it, apparently. So and then there's a big reveal, and it's a big reveal, and you're like, well, that was it, you know? That's so, Kojima's mind, that's man. Kojima. That's why. That's why that's why uh, Kojima's going to make an entire ooh. game based on the forklift game from Shenmue. <laughs> Probably. He's going to be point. like, uh, what's that dude's name? The yeah, M. Shyamalan. He's going to, he's like, be all these like games, oh, he's all there. these games are going to connect. He, he, absolutely. The, by the time he's dead, like all the games Turns are going to connect. Into it's all the same story. universe or something yeah. like that. <laughs> I, I, like you know Metal, what? Metal Gear Solid's part of it now. It's, <laughs> I'm going to sidestep my awesome thing uh, for a moment here. Cause you got, sure. you got, a, I, I, you know, I think another big thing, uh, this is the reveal that, that got me excited. Is Sega had a big multi reveal yes, thing? Yes, uh, they have a ton of classics it's, in the yo, works. Crazy taxi, there, though. There was footage the of a crazy taxi. Jet, Jet Set, Set Radio, Radio Future, baby. Shinobi, yes. Shinobi, Golden Axe, and Streets, Streets of, of Rage. Rage yo, 3D. I am yes. excited for this. Yo, um, that Jet Set looks really really crisp mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's clean i'm mm-hmm. i'm playing uh bombs uh bomb rush cyber funk and like I, I when i seen the jet set i'm just like i would i mean it it <laughs> the game bomb rush like reignited the excitement of playing jet set mm-hmm. radio this is bomb rush right? yeah bomb yeah. rush is really nice it's my the- kids are playing it now i, I finished it and it's like really cool. I mean, it's really nice. It got me really back into the the feeling of Jet Set Radio. But then when I seen that commercial, oh my god, it's so it's so it's like so vibrant, like compared mm-hmm. to like it's oh my god, it's I can't wait. I'm just like here, take my money. Like that's what's gonna happen next year. I'm not. I'm gonna be broke. As soon as <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've had enough of that this year. Um. Anyways, hey, let's stay on the gaming line for a moment here. Uh, and then we'll get some cool stuff from you here, uh, Kid Mental. Uh, but in the meantime, so I have been uh decentralizing my home gaming, mm-hmm. not cloud gaming per right. se, but I do have like a Chromecast, Google TV in my bedroom, and I got you know a serious ass downstairs. I got I I, I retrofitted the old uh um um zoom machine here and it's got like a half decent like it's got like a an i7 an early i7 and some decent stuff and i have a bunch of old games i haven't touched in years on steam right Mm -hmm. so i started playing with um finally you know i feel like i got my my eero uh uh, wireless up to stuff and of course the biggest thing like i and and i think a lot of people know about uh steam link you know the idea is you got a computer that's sitting somewhere but you can download the Steam link on your phone, on your Apple TV, on your Chromecast TV, on your Google TV, Android TV, anything that can take a nap. It's on just about everything. And you can play that over your internal network. Uh, and I've actually been enjoying this to pull up a lot of games on there. I've been playing some of the old uh, Telltale Walking Dead series on this um, and a couple other kind of random games, just kind of trying it out. Whatever whatever a, a 10-year-old computer can run with a, a pretty decent Fire GL uh, uh, graphics card, right? Um, so that's my first recommendation. Go check that out. If you do have like a half decent, even if you're like me and you just have a Steam uh, collection with a bunch of games that are probably like like Xbox 360 era and earlier kind of stuff. Um, it's probably a really, really good. I actually picked up like the Street Fighter uh, 30th anniversary collection and and I've been able to play that on there pretty decent. It's playing fighting games at a pretty good pace. So like 
not much lag that's detectable. I'm, I'm, you know, it feels like a good fighting game on there, just sitting there in my bedroom. Um, and the other thing that I ran into, and I started playing with a little bit more that now that I had the newer console, um, there's an, there's no, so if you have like the Xbox app on your phone, you can stream from the Xbox at least in house, and I think externally too. And I think Steam Link will also do external, but it gets a little wonky. Like I've tried playing games from the house here at the studio. And, and that, you know, I get a little bit uh, uh, more of a, a, a lag on something like that. But the idea, so so you have the Xbox app on your phone, but the TV doesn't have any sort of Xbox app officially. Now, if you do have an Android, Chrome, Google TV that takes apps, you are able to go into the Google Play Store. And this is an app that I picked up called XBX Play Remote Play. And it's going to actually interface with your Xbox and play things um, through your app. And again, this is all going to be dependent on how well your home Wi-Fi is and everything. I had a big issue, uh, with like some, some really kind of weird walls that I had. Uh, so that's why I had to pick up like a set of Eero a little bit ago and, and be able to do that. But I've been pretty regularly playing my, um, and, and, and the example it's going to show here is actually on the phone, but I've been pretty regularly playing my, um, my, my Xbox games, you know, the Yakuza games, um, uh, Gotham Knights I was playing on this. Again, some very, you know, high-paced kind of fighting games, right? And they felt very, very good. Um, once in a while, I get a little bit of a lag, but, you know, it's, it's been nothing that's really kind of shut my game down uh, because it is all on your in-house network. As long as that's strong, you should be good to, good to go. I, obviously, ideally, if everything was wired, you'd have a lot better luck with it. But What Sonic is that? I don't, I don't know which Sonic that was. Don't <laughs> so, play that one, I don't know. Though. There's like a million of them now, well, right? play so. this one. This, this specific. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yo. Oh, is that? Oh, that's Frontiers. It's Frontiers? Is that Frontiers? Yeah, that's, that, that's Frontier. Really? Okay. Oh yeah, because yeah. they said it was gonna. There was an open world like uh, Breath of mm-hmm. Fi- Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. It was ba- uh, okay. What's really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's wild. it was like a Sonic version of Breath of the Wild. That's what they they were uh, saying. I'm sure that. That, that's panned out that's what they're saying yeah, yeah that's what, that's they're, what saying. they're saying is that i the mean look one, it looked or? pretty cool though it looks pretty you know you say and i'm playing it so I, you know i have a series s i don't have 4k tv so <laughs> everything looks great to me yeah I'm right gonna... <laughs> so and honestly i think i have the better tv upstairs so um i've, I've really kind of appreciated that like not a lot of breakup Hershey. or anything like that uh then i usually get on the cloud um uh uh you know the cloud the cloud games or anything like that so yeah no it's it's pretty good so the xbx play remote play is that app go try it on your google tv sweet kid mental you have some awesome things what do you got going on do i you'll be a- i didn't i was gonna bring it i brought the because uh, i have one of those double a AA battery adapters mm-hmm. and uh you're ha- telling me about this yeah because <clears throat> you were we were talking about the live on the air right there boom mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but that thing is pretty dope like as long as you uh <clears throat> check you, you you make sure you check whatever device you're about to put it in to make sure that it is say you're taking two trip two double a's make sure that it's at three volts because if it's if it's going to be like lower it will fry it so mm. beware because it's it's literally so plugged this, into the wall so, so this is a little bit of buyer beware for this yeah but i mean you, me, you like, just got to know what kind of you got to know what you're plugging it into that's basically all it is okay. it's not it's not that crazy but so, you you know devices sometimes are not i mean yeah. okay double a if anybody doesn't know it's it's supposed to be 1.5 volts mm-hmm. so like two of them if you're getting two then that means your device is running on three volts so and this is for the people on audio this is a plug that goes through and into what looks like a double like it's plugged into a double a battery basically yes. what you know what what is in it, the shape it, of it has a it's it, it, and basically <coughs> it has one little ribbon for the one that actually goes to the AC adapter. Mm-hmm. So that ribbon, it's a flat ribbon. So if you have to close it on your, say your Game Boy, you know, you have the back end, you close it, and that ribbon doesn't get doesn't get smashed. Your, your cable doesn't get smashed. And basically, it runs in tandem with the other fake batteries that they have. So those other fake batteries, depending on if you have three or four batteries, you can put those in, and basically the energy will run through those different batteries mm-hmm. back to the AC, well, the other way around, a, from the AC, from the wall, into your unit, and then in tandem, those different battery, the fake battery, they're basically like, what do you call them? Uh, electro, uh, uh, I, I can't remember. Electrodes? Yeah, like a, um, I forget what it is, but 
Uh, yeah, basically, my brother used to do this. It was funny because my brother used to do this exact thing when mm-hmm. I was. It was in nineteen ninety, in mid nineties. My brother, we we had a uh, we had a book. We have a we had a bunk bed, and on the bunk beds there they're big wood bunk beds. But to hold the bunk bed on top of the other bunk bed was this metal little uh, cylinder, and that cylinder was the exact size of a double A battery. Hmm. So we were running low on batteries and my brother would put a fresh pair of batteries in, but he would only use three batteries and then he would use the one uh, piece of metal and it would go through that and charge the the Game Boy for whatever time we we needed to play. It was was ingenious. He he was a kid. I was a kid, you know, but it worked. And that's basically the same the same concept with this. Mm-hmm. It runs it runs an AC, it runs through your uh it just connects all of those different um connector connectors that you have and it powers your unit. I, I use it on actually yeah, I, I think I use it on my pocket operators mm-hmm. because those are battery operated, but like my my actually my actual gig uh case has like power in it. So instead of wasting batteries all the time, I just plug that in, put it in and then let it run. But like I said, you got to be careful because those pocket operators are pretty expensive. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. if I if I plugged it in wrong, it, it will fry. It fried. But it, if so. you got something smaller that you know that you if you got something smaller that 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 doesn't have a plug in option, we were talking about because they're live on air. Uh, I have to replace the batteries in the live air on air sign behind you over there, and that's that's how this came up last week. So you know, and now that takes like eight batteries or something yeah, crazy, yeah. right? Um, so and I think they have packs with multiple multiple kind of battery. Yep packs in yeah. here right yeah so um so that that is the hold on uh, wait, wait that one is one brand but there there are several yeah. brands There's several of these okay so this is a a, a Leninc ac power supply for uh double a batteries we'll have a link in the show notes as well uh so you can go check that out uh here after the show so those are pretty awesome good. uh so you got one more thing we're going to get to but in the meantime want to give a shout out to our friends feeding our studio crew slice on broadway new york city style yins are made uh, four, five, six, I don't even know locations here in the greater <laughs> Pittsburgh area. Thank you so much to our good friends down there. Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for well, well over a decade. Give a shout out to them. Slice on Broadway.com. So, and also gluten friendly options. Ooh, yes. Yes. Gluten. They take care of you. They take care of you. We have, we have some gluten friends, no, gluten free fr- friends, gluten, gluten free friends, gluten complicated friends. I <laughs> I don't know what's the proper way to say that. But either way, um, I, I know they really took care of uh, some of our friends there um, when we used to do the pizza days back in the day. So uh, so we, what is your other awesome thing of the week here? It's a website. It's a website that's like uh, I was going to do monoprice because monoprice is similar to this. When I used to I used to get everything from monoprice before. But mm-hmm. Bill Rose uh, has some pretty cool products in there and pretty cool diy things that you could do on here with uh i used i i like the raspberry pi things that they have Mm -hmm. like a lot of the raspberry pi um products that you can get and that one right there to the the, you see that no down down uh, right there that that uh the mouse with the keyboard Mm -hmm. i have that one and that raspberry pi it comes it's just a it's just a keyboard it's in the keyboard it's just a keyboard yeah and the keyboard has the raspberry pi in it and that's it. And it's like so it. cool because it, it's portable. You can pull it up and just do everything on it. It's probably on another page because it came out like it came out before all of this. But I had ordered one just to see how it worked. And it's just a Raspberry Pi and a keyboard, literally. And you, oh, can, like you can plug everything into it and it works. <clears throat> I'm trying to get a, a portable HD HDMI for it. I forgot what it's called. It's called a Ram. What is it called? It's a and it's got those uh, retro flag uh, NES and Super Nintendo looking yeah. cases you can get. Yeah. Um. So I think I think maybe Chilla's gotten a couple of these. I think he got the Game Boy one actually. There's like a, um, a DIY like uh, smart mirror that mm-hmm. they, that you can do with the with the Raspberry Pi and then the, and then they have the 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 why can't my words today? But it's a like a cabinet and then it's just basically a, a smart a smart cabinet it's your mirror and you wake up in the morning you could see what the weather is and if you wanted to talk to it you could but like it's 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 got a 
some cool stuff there. I think there's uh, Adreno, uh, Arduinos they, they sell there and, mm-hmm. and stuff, but the prices are pretty decent. And um, it's one of those sites that people are like, is this real? Is this, are they going to take my money and not send me anything? And no, it's going to take your money and they're going to send you stuff. And it's pretty cool. I just, um, my boys are in the other room, but I, I've got them some stock, stocking stuffers of those uh, nice. little mouse, the, the wireless mouses that you've seen. There's a mm-hmm. little wireless mouse and then inside has a little dongle. So I'm going to put those in their stopping stock stock like this year. It's pretty you, cool. And if you're ever concerned about like getting into the Raspberry Pi thing, because if you get one, it's just the board and you kind of have to figure it out from there. But they got some great starter kits. I know yeah. those, those are really helpful yeah, when I was good. getting started with the uh, Raspberry Pi setups. So it's freaking dope. I love it. I love it. Go check it out. Uh, and especially with the Raspberry Pi Five, 5 that just came out, like yes. there's a lot of real power there. Yeah. Uh, I was looking at the page on here. It said more power than a Chromebook. Wow! So, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm about mm-hmm. to get another one of those keyboards. Thank you. Yeah, the I, I love the time. keyboard idea too. It's like so I love great. that to just kind of plug in and go. That's it's it. Like, it's just a keyboard. Yep. Like right now, I could be t- I could be just typing on it right there, and boom, boom. I'm just gonna get some wireless HDMI, um, the wire, the receiver, and the transmitter, and mm-hmm. pretty pretty much set. That's it. I didn't see the keyboards listed here, so they may be out of stock for the they moment. Probably are, but, but I'm an, gonna get. Keep it. an eye. I'm sure there's I'm a newsletter or something it. you can sign up for. Right? Just so tag me. And say, Kid Minton, when go. is it ready? I'm gonna be like, it's ready now, man. <laughs> 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 awesome. Uh, let's see what else there is to get into here. Uh, let's see. We hit up the, some of the video game stuff. Um, hey. He, oh, we have some bad news. No. Riz, we have some bad news. If you're a longtime gamer, there's yeah. a there's a certain event that would happen every summer that you were always excited about. Oh no, don't we tell me. We were we were really excited about it. Like I I remember like when when we had a uh, insert coin to begin in uh, Awesome Cast Gaming, those two the two podcasts that we had, we actually had watch alongs for E3 events. Then we got, <sighs> then we got pulled uh, down. <laughs> what until we got pulled down <laughs> until we got pulled down with you know work yeah and, yeah sony was really and, not happy and with sony us. Yep. and microsoft mm-hmm. um but yeah turns out that's a bad idea <laughs> yeah <laughs> Unless you have your own good. streamer <laughs> e- even though you're not actually wait were we actually streaming it or were we just i think we, we like put it, we put it, it in a window and we were like in the corner uh, so we yeah, were technically right. rebroadcasting it we were definitely but not okay but yeah no more no, no more, more E3. three. E three is gone, and uh, I mean, it, you saw it kind of coming. Like it, 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 yeah, it started. It it started with Nintendo going away from live reaction. Let me like live shows mm-hmm. to their uh, almost a decade ago. <laughs> yeah, that was that was wow. Yeah, but yeah, it was like they started going from live shows to. Uh, a YouTube show, a, a YouTube reaction, like at least once every quarter, at least yeah. to announce to announce big things like new Smash characters. Smash Brother, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Um, but and then then it started going from there to PlayStation having their own event, to Microsoft having their own event, to going into like software developers having their own having e3 events instead of the big tech companies like a sony or microsoft or e- or nintendo um sh- showing off their system and their their games that they're coming out in like three four years um i just and and honestly i i get it i feel and I, but it's still going to be one of those things where i'm like Waiting for June to come around, it's waiting a, for July, it's a back in our day it, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, but like, but it, just so much more opportunity now too. Between between, like, I mean, um, uh, what is it? Uh, game Gamescom and and the Penny Arcade mm-hmm. Expos and and again, and like, the, they're just having their own events, just like how Apple has their own event, right? Like everybody is it's right. cheaper. And, and E three was really limping into COVID, and you took away everybody's yeah, once, desire to get into one place or or acceptance mm-hmm. of that. And that's just, I mean, there's a lot of things that have, that, that have unfortunately were not good going into COVID yeah. and, and just got blasted out of I, it. So I think they never recovered from COVID. No, 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 no. They, they never, they never recovered from like going, like if you want, like, they were able to go virtual if they wanted to go virtual. Sure. 
but they didn't want to because they wanted that giant crowd there. Mm-hmm. Wow. I wonder if NAM is going to be that way. With what? NAM. Yeah. National Association for Music mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. music Merchants or something. Hopefully that doesn't... I mean, Well, mm-hmm. I don't know, but that's, that's another one. Wonder. Yeah. I just... I mean... Well, can I tell you? Can you tell you an event that has not that that often often was alongside? Actually, no, it was actually usually alongside CES. And I haven't heard. I don't think CES is happening this year, or maybe they are. CES. Um, but I think the thing that always happened the same week as CES in Las Vegas is that's Coachella? also been heard in, is the Adult Entertainment Expo, and that oh. seems to be going strong. That's here. going strong. That's going well, strong. Yeah, I'm not going to show the website. Well, there's so many puns I was for just, that. I was just double checking it to see if it was still alive. No, it's, it's definitely still, there. still alive, it's, and it's very lively on my browser. That's another. Right now. There's a lot of puns right there. I don't. Just, I don't know if we should. Yeah. Sorg, why are you looking up adult why stuff you, on here? Sorg? I was. This is are from you research. That board of, uh, yeah, are you not? Do you not want to talk to expo? Us if you, you want to go to the, want us to leave? I'm just saying, if you want to go to the adult entertainment expo, it's still an option. What is it called? It can fill that hole in your soul, Riz, uh, for not having E3. Is it at least a, you got something? Glad, glad you said, I mean, is it called? Soul? There's plenty. You know the technology <laughs> that's at the adult entertainment expo, like. It's a lot. Uh, I, this I is can where, imagine. This I is can where imagine the technology there. The, the VHS versus Beta Wars were were fought. Was the and and one was the Adult Entertainment Expo, not CES, not at your local video store. No, no. This is where if you really want to see I'm, some progress in technology, Riz, I'm saying we got to get you a press pass to the Adult Entertainment Expo on behalf of the awesome cast in Sorgatron Media. Yes. Okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> sure. And sold. And sold. Um, oh God, my my chair just broke. Did you say can? My, can my chair. My chair just broke. Wow. <laughs> oh no. Wow, Sorg. Oh, did you no, just say chair, can oh, no. sold? My chair just broke yeah. in the middle. Of the he said show. can oh, no. sold. Oh no. Oh no. Your Armageddon chair, Sorg. Oh, not the Armageddon. I've been on this for fifteen years. Do you want me to grab the I'm other chair? Grab another chair. Oh. Good. Do yeah. it standing. Do do what I do, do for a story, your Riz. show, Sorg. Stand the show. He said, "Stand the show." He said, "Stand during the whole show." That's what he wants you to do, because that's what you made Switch him do. It and video. So now it's, it's your. That's no. actually what I do. No, I was yeah. all. No messing. I'm really sad now, but now yeah, I place the chair, and I think I have to readjust all my cameras over here. You're almost. No, it's, it's you're fine. almost there. You're yeah, fine. you're you're good. You're, right. you're good. Just, Spread, uh, just you know, hunch a little bit. Do what I do. And sold. Hunch. All right, yeah. I'm going to turn off the adult. Yeah, that's so, probably why I broke. I yeah, knew turn off the adult. A little, uh, too much shaking over there. Excitement, right? You were so shaking sad. because of this. So, so excited. Sad. My chair is broken. That's my favorite chair. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What happened? And it had cushions on it. It had cushions on it. And I was sitting on Batista's face every week. Uh, I'm we, surprised. I'm surprised there's not like Riz. What Oculus stuff for for porn yet? Oh, I mean, we're talking about is, the expo. I, th- yeah, I was afraid you're talking yeah, still talking about the still chair. talking about the expo. Okay, okay. We're still talking about the expo. Expo, yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. They're probably you'll probably see some this year. So uh, yeah, I mean, you might as might well go well. down there, down there, because there's no there's no out, more E3, you know, so they're gonna have you know, to combine them. You need something to do in Vegas, Riz. Yeah, you need something to do in Vegas. We need to but get what happened? So are they gonna have it at the? The sphere, or are they just gonna, no, no, like, no, no. What, there's there's the, a convention center right there. Nam is there okay. too. Very, Nam's very large. They would usually have the adult expo center. Is the, like and the sphere and going to be yes in another the same time? Shape no, that, the sphere is. I mean, the sphere will probably little, reflect. Oh yeah. man, watch yeah. your Twitter accounts for what the yeah. sphere is doing during the adult expo because <laughs> there's going to be something. I'm sure. Uh, anyways, canceled. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Flight booked. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Hey, I'm going I'm I'm to leave the really sad. I'm going to leave the really sad one, nihilist one, for the end here. Uh, here's some AI news. Um, so Google has rolled out Notebook LM. What is Notebook LM? So imagine you have a place that you're taking all your notes. Uh, some of the examples they give is like all your notes for a class or something like that, and you bump, you dump all your resources, your sources in here. And then now you can use an AI to ask questions and 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 kind of poke and prod at this thing. Now, you know, you're talking to the person that takes like I take scripts and I go into AI and I ask it what are the good, you know, quotes out of this and that to give me a head start on things. 
uh, which has been really, really effective lately. You can create study guides, create an outline of, of everything that you put in there. Um, uh, so I was really kind of curious about this thing. Notebooklm.google, if you want. Oh, the domain's .google. Look at that. Um, so I actually imported, and I, I don't know if they all loaded, though. Wow. Uh, I imported a bunch of awesome cast um, show notes. Now, we, we've been just kind of using the same document for the last 300 episodes, but uh, I found some older ones in here and dumped them in, but they all seem to still be loading. And I asked them, what do, you, what, what do we talk about and say a variety of topics, including technology, gadgets, video games, internet trends, current uh, pop culture, personal experiences? Um, what, and, and it's actually, what gadgets are mentioned as awesome thing of the week? And I can stick that in there. Oh, it's unable to answer. Let me see if I refresh it, if it'll do it. Oh, it did uh, not add my sources. Of your okay, so it's got the latest oh. one, but you can actually go into your drive, upload some PDFs, copy some text into this, um, and then from there, and I'll just type in some awesome cast documents, and we'll go ahead and see if we can import a couple more of these just to give it a little bit of something here. Uh, so, oh, there we go. There we go. So we can ask again, uh, what was the awesome thing of the week? And you create your own kind of database with your information here, right? So um, ideally, like let's say I did a lot of interviews, right? Here it's pulling up. The Apple Store is a great place to find the latest, greatest Apple products. This is really getting kind of getting generic here. Also, like our notes aren't exactly like full sentences. It's kind of just headlines and, and, and things like that. Um, <laughs> uh, one of the suggestions here, uh, well, what were the top predictions for 2020 mentioned on this show? Oh my. Okay. Uh, apparently that's where this one document was from, was from our, uh, end of the year show. Uh, so apparently in 2020, Jeff Bezos will recruit more Porsche pirates to help, se ring <laughs> help sell ring doorbells. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow so but the yeah. idea is we could hypothetically yeah. pull in all the show notes you know if we had individual ones um we don't necessarily do that um we could pull in like all of our show notes for our 666 episodes and start asking questions of it so you know so you can go check that out um so you Boom. can build your database or i can pump in all of the um you know one thing i have i i, I liked using there's a old a ai pdf uh, searcher where you could, um, you know, we have documents for a lot of our uh, black magic and video hardware. And I like the idea of dumping those in and be able to ask questions of that document. So you can create a bit of a workspace um, where you put this information in and then um, you put this information in and then it's very, I'm, I'm distracted because two cops just pulled up in front of the studio. I'm sure that has nothing to do with us. Saw your, uh, saw your, saw your searches. Saw your searches. The one day we, Cancel. I'm going to, let's see, we're going to close that adult expo uh, just <laughs> tab just to be safe. Um, no, don't worry, I got curtains on my side, so everything is fine. Uh, so there's that. They're blocking my driveway, uh, It looks too. like they're trying to get some donuts I, they, across they, the street. They're just, get, they're probably probably just getting, they they're probably just getting some tacos. I'm sure yeah. it's fine. It's taco time for the it's cops. It's taco time. Um, anyways, but no, I, I think it's kind of a cool concept. You know, it, it, it's a nice little workspace. But again, we are talking as a Google product. Will it last? Um, so I don't know how much you want to dedicate to it. Um, there is a little bit of a, you'd want to check the privacy because you're dumping certain things into it. Um, there is a question mark of if you dump something into it and it's reading out of this, if, if an uh, L, LM, LM. Wait, there's another letter that goes in there. Uh, large LLM. If, you, if you're dumping stuff in there and it's being read by an LLM, um, then like where is that information being read and taken somewhere else to inform other, uh, uh, you know, educating it somewhere else? Is your is your information going to get regurgitated in somebody else's prompt somewhere down the line, a BART or something? So you do, you, if you're putting sensitive information in there, I would like, are you putting your business documents in here? That's a big question mark, right? Uh, so do your due diligence on this. It is labeled as an experiment if you go over to the website there. Um, so I, I think that's that could be, you know, I think it's a it's the next AI thing to play with uh, at this point. So and I would see, I you know, I, I you know, obviously they are pushing, like I said, the um, kind of the 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 news newsletter work and and educational and things like that. Um, it sounds like uh, they're um, crowd crowd sourcing it on the on the back end. I mean, I, I don't know if you read the fine print or anything, but no. like you know, I'm suggesting somebody else does. But well, I mean, do. usually you know how AIs they have to they have to feed it before they send it out to you. Absolutely. So it feels like they're doing kind of the opposite. Like 
getting you to feed it and it's you feed start, it in. and it's not just you feeding it but everyone who is feeding it it's gaining this knowledge but i think the idea is you're talking to it within like the ecosystem you created i understand ideally that. i understand ideally, ideally yeah. but yeah. like who knows what like that's what i said if you happening. read the fine are they are they combining this so that it can make it powerful more powerful so mm-hmm. that in the future, the next one will be... Um, I got to give them credit, though, because I, I actually kind of pulled up their privacy policy that's at the bottom here, and it's, like, kind of nice and detailed and seems relatively plain language for the most part. That's good. Uh, so... It's like, a lot. I, I, yeah. It, oh, it's absolutely a lot. It's but a, it's a wonderful lot. But this, is, but this lo- isn't, like, like a large law gobbledygooky thing. There's a lot here, but they're, they're really kind of illustrating and linking and, uh, and crossing That's over. just for this specific product? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, my God. That's Let's a see. lot. That's... that's that's I mean that's I think, too much for me. I and those blue means they go somewhere else. Well, yes. Yeah, so now, oh, so you yeah. want to go? So then keep breaking that down and break okay, this and then down. Then we go here and let's and go, go to the other slide. one. Yeah, yeah go to the other one. Okay, and then the next one. Okay, Cancel. we're going down the rabbit hole here. We got to pull out of this. We got <laughs> to pull back. We got to pull out of this site, nose dive. <laughs> So if you have any uses for uh, the Notebook LM Boop database, just throw it in know. there and see what you can find. Hey, you know what? <laughs> just I upload it into the. You know what? We, you know what? You know what? We also have room for our Patreon supporters. <laughs> we got to give a shout out to our friends at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Our friends at the Coffee Club level, Cynthia Klosky. At the fan of the show level, Michael Fedor, Matt Weller, John DeGore, and Dave Podner. Spouse of Roost Julia Affair at roostjuliaaffair.com. Uh, thank you, everybody, that is supporting the show. We really got into the Cybertruck last week on the Patreon. Yes, we did. So, uh, so if you want to hear my... And, um, I'm just saying, I might be dumb in my tesla thoughts and patreon from now on for i just no particular reason um but <laughs> anyways um but yeah yeah you, you hear ponder's actually even asking about who is one of our patreon supporters in the chat room uh can you put the release notes into an ai to summarize it can you take the privacy policy copy and paste it in a notebook ai and be like what am i concerned about yeah that's what you need to do that's you what can, you need to you do you can do it in this you can do it in bard probably Bart. uh I, well, actually i don't know if you can do a bar but i know claude you can do it in because that's the one i use and i've been really excited about that because yeah, i'm p- pasting in putting text documents in and, and having them kind of read along with that um but anyways oh we're, we're not getting into that there partner maybe we'll a little bit later uh but anyways so so <laughs> exciting <laughs> sorry there's a whole other subject there but thank you to our patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesome cast and if you guys hit us up on the patreon on the messages or awesome cast at sorgatron media.com if you have any other uh big ideas what we could do with this notebook um uh concept so you guys ready for the big finish of the show um, oh, I you said it's gonna be sad. I, well, so. you know, it depends on your listen. I listen to podcasts that are apparently hosted by several nihilists. Okay, um, and <laughs> you're not alone. Did you say I'm not alone. Out there. a nihilist? A nihilist. You know what I'm talking about? I don't it's know what a like, nihilist is. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Basically, I think goth. Um, <laughs> in mindset. Okay, my, I, I think is is the, is the general remember general thing. remember the Arby's Twitter account. What? The, the nihilist Arby's <laughs> nihilist Arby's the nihilist, yeah. what? Wow. what is this My you never nihilist. wait you, you've you heard of that sword I'm sure I did but I've forgotten like oh there was man. an nihilist at Arby's? nihilist underscore Arby's I remember, I remember Wendy's yes. Wendy's be getting it on they be, oh, Wendy's, Today, the actual Wendy's is yeah, yeah. Wendy's be uh, today only come in and enjoy our everything is impossibly good and there is no consequences special available all locations <laughs> at 8 46 a.m eastern time wow. Jeez, what is happening here okay all right well that's a thing that exists but the, well, how about how about a more official account that has that has been featured in print in, oh, i guess probably websites has, the onion? has been featured the onion? as a web and has its own subscription. I'm talking about WeCroak.com. Uh, I, I discovered this. I think this week in Texas is talking f- about it. This is this has apparently been around around for a while. Inspired by Bhutanese folk saying to be a happy person, one must one must contemplate death five times daily. So five you, times you, you, you have the website, but you do also have an application. It's iOS and Android, so you can be equally nihilist on both sides of the of the uh, of the aisle there. Uh, so you download this thing, and it'll send you a notification. Turn your notifications on, and it will send you a reminder that you are going to. Oh, Mac and Apple Watch compatible as well. Look at that. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, it's just going to send you a notification every way. day. Uh, like no one on his deathbed ever said, I wish I had spent more time on my business. 
death is only the end if you assume the story is about you. I love this. <laughs> so there you go. These are so great. Um, so you have that. It's a free app. Um, <laughs> there is a subscription as well. And when you go to the subscription, the way it was described in the podcast I was listening to, um, when you sign up for it, it will send you things to do. And, and the, the, the example they gave on This Week in Tech was go to a cemetery Find somebody with the first name uh, uh, similar to a friend of yours and contemplate that fact. Wow. So there you go. Wow. So there you go. Um, 150,000 people have joined them. Uh, they launched in 2017. They have a podcast. Of course they have a podcast. You have yeah, a podcast. Five, so you have to five times you have to per day. You'll get you a have, notification. You, but you have to you have to contemplate. Uh, death or just what? yes well, it, would be, it, would be then, quote, it would be a quote to remind you that you're going to die and, and that's and now how are you going to live and then life? you have to add like what eight hugs on top of that and then eight cups of water I think that's a different app but... well i'm just saying like you know well physical hugs there's no app for hug you have to actually have a hug mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so like mm -hmm. you gotta get eight hugs and i, get, I think they're like 20 20 seconds they gotta be about 20 you 20 30 seconds you know I'm going to disprove you and then, because there actually is. Is it app. more than eight? There's an app for hugs. That, that's not, There's a hugs app on Google Play Store that I just found out. Is, what does that send, mean? What, you hug can, yourself? You can send a hug. You can digital, send a that digital hug. That is not hug. a hug. It's, it's um... D d Oh God! There you go. Hold your phone to your heart and receive right. a hug. Oh, okay. that's oh. not a hug. So then, so that's so not a hug. You feel the heartbeat through your phone no, you on the hug. No, dystopia. I like you don't. You don't feel dystopia. I'm sending this. Dystopia. Hold on. I'm dystopia. sending this. I'm dystopia. sending this to my my Samsung. Are you phone serious? Right now that's not I'm a hug. To do this. That is not a hug. That is not. I don't know. That's not equivalent of a hug. That is not a hug. What kind of hug? You need seven hugs or eight. I will accept the digital hugs. I don't know what your problem. Problem is your please, phone. Please is give vibrating. him a hug. He needs a hug because <laughs> the hug. phone is not going to work. The both the police oh. left a minute later. My wife pulls in. What did you do? No uh, hug. Hug him. You you oh he's hugging me. Yes. He's hugging me. There you go. I, I do need a hug because my Batista chair just broke. I'm hug. I'm getting hugged right now. If you're on audio, the there you go. So there you go. It just gave way, man. It just gave way. Like I, I just need a reminder. See, no, my a, my favorite chair is gonna break every day. That's that's, that's my nihilism. That's a real hug. That app is not gonna give you. That's that. my parade. No. <laughs> that app is gonna put like, <laughs> gonna have you have the your phone to your chest so you can yeah. feel the vibrations oh, of your phone. Yes. Wow. That's it. That's All it. Right. She said hi. She's, She's saying hi. So anyway, even... hold on. I'm going to find this Ooh. over here. Hey, oh, wait, what's happening here? Oh, no, she's coming. She's gonna say, hi, Riz. <laughs> hi, Missy. It is the end of the show. I guess you... it's well, the this end is the perfect the way show. to end episode 666 of the awesome cast. Kid Mental, thank you for yeah. hanging out with us again. Uh, <laughs> where can people check out what's going on with you? Um, Don't forget to go to kidmental.com. K-I-D-M-E-N-T-A-L. Follow me on Instagram, uh, X, or wherever else that you do stuff, and I'll hopefully make you laugh. Follow me on Twitch, though. You know what I mean? Twitch.tv slash kidmentalmusic. And then there is... <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> it's an audio okay. podcast. I, I, I'm waving. I'm waving. He's waving. Uh, no, it, I'm probably going to play some Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Free on uh, uh, wrist plays games. Tis the, the season, apparently. Um, wrist plays games everywhere. There you go. What? What? Uh, at Sorgatron on all the social medias. Uh, I, what is happening with your microphone? I was trying to. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I don't know who you're talking uh, to. Squeak. <laughs> it's a lot of squeaking happening. I uh, get uh, Sorgatron on the to on all the social medias. Uh, this Friday mm -hmm. is going to be the Top Rope Tabletop. Uh, Chris. Uh, uh, Tony Kincaid's Christmas Chaos, where our wrestling friends are going to play Dungeons and Dragons here in the studio. Uh, Saturday. What am I doing Saturday? Uh, oh, I'll be at 247 Fighting Championship out of Monroeville mm -hmm. at the convention center. I'll be in your neck of the woods there, Oh, Riz. you're being my I'll be right Ooh. down the road from you there. Hey! I can walk people, there. Yeah. Watching people punch each other in the face. It'll be fun. Get some Ooty Pie before yeah. you go over there. Yeah, a little bit of video production <laughs> out there. And of course, we will be at VCW's uh, oh, gosh. Victory. Oh, what is this one? Uh, it's a victory, victory road? championship no. wrestling road to victory. I think it is. 
Uh, Road, Road to, to victory. victory with the number two. Uh, we'll be down there. It's in uh, McMechan, uh, West Virginia, just south of Wheeling, West Virginia. Uh, we'll also be streaming that on IndiaWrestling.us platforms as well. Uh, That's so going to be interesting. Up. So what are they going to the, name the third one? Road 3 Victory? Well, it's only the second year. So well, we'll I was get, just we'll wondering. Two road, road to, to victory ah. three. Yeah, there you go. Road <laughs> to victory three. Uh, oh wait, I do have a graphic for it. Will Will Cowpoke See? Paul get caught on fire? We'll find oh, out. We'll hap- find I, out. Wait. Yeah, it's a okay, fresh for the other show. You and I need to talk. Check to, out the Wrestling Mayhem to, show where we'll talk about that fact we with have, uh, our guest Mikey Montgomery from the Di- Dungeons and Dragons group actually this evening. So, uh, so thank you everybody. You have been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron.